Hello everyone, my name is Andre Matei. I'm a sales engineer here at the Rackspace Cloud, and today we're gonna to spend just a few moments reviewing how to deploy and manage Windows Cloud servers. Let's go ahead and log into the control panel and head over to the hosting tab. Under hosting, let's pick cloud servers, and we'll be presented with a list of the current cloud servers that are available on this account. So as we see, we have one cloud server named demo that's already been provisioned. Let's go ahead and add a new one. We'll head over to the Windows tab, and we see here that there's several different variants of Windows Server that we can choose, from 2K3 to 2K8, both 32-bit and 64-bit. For the sake of this demo, I'll pick Windows 2K8 R2 64-bit. And next, it's going to ask us what we would like to name our cloud server. I'll go ahead and call it test, and for the sake of this demo, the smallest size of cloud server will be sufficient. Once we hit create server, after a couple moments, the page is going to refresh and we'll be presented with the administration password as well as the technical details of the server. Here we see the admin password. Let's go ahead and copy it and place it in a text file. We'll need this for later reference. Now we see the server is in fact building. As it's building, let's review a couple other items on this page. We see technical details. The server has a gig of RAM, 40 gig of hard drive space, currently no bandwidth being used, uh, being as it's a fresh server. Um, the IP, we have a dedicated public IP and private IP on each cloud server. The data center is Chicago and currently backups are disabled by default. All right, roughly nine minutes have passed and the cloud server is now fully operational and ready for use. Let's verify this by logging in. We're gonna go ahead and copy its public IP address and enter it into our RDC client. Next, we'll copy and paste the password. And we see indeed that the cloud server is ready for use. We'll go ahead and minimize the screen and get back to the control panel now and look at a couple of the other options that are presented to us. We can of course change the name of the cloud server at any time and resize the cloud server on demand. We have a console area here to log into the cl cloud server for troubleshooting purposes. We have a soft and hard reboot. We have a rescue image. The rescue image will duplicate your cloud server both in size and a version of Windows and mount the broken image to this new environment. Here you can copy any files or make any configuration changes to have your cloud server start loading and booting normally again. We have a rebuild area. This is basically a clean reformat where you can start with a clean image of either the same version of Windows or one of the other versions of Windows uh, as you choose. The one really nice thing about the rebuild area is you maintain your IP even past the rebuild process. We have a reset password and finally a delete option as well. Once you delete the cloud server, billing ceases immediately. All right, next we're going to move to the DNS tab. Here we offer free DNS hosting for all cloud customers. You'll see in the environment that we have a very easy point and click interface for domain management to manage your A records, C names, MX records, etc. And of course, we include a reverse DNS management portion, which is very critical if you plan to run mail on your cloud server. The next section is the images tab. And here we have a very robust imaging system for backup and snapshotting purposes. You can have scheduled imaging performed daily or weekly or you can take point in time uh, images as needed. Finally, on the last tab, we have some basic diagnostics and operational statistics for your cloud server and some network tests if you need to leverage those. So that's about it. It's a very simple and straightforward environment. If you guys have any questions, feel free to get a hold of us at rackspacecloud.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.